All right, in this video, I'm going to go over how to use a vacuum pump and a set of gauges to correctly fill an empty uh, air conditioning system with refrigerant. You can also use these gauges to top off your AC. I'm not going to cover that. We're going directly from empty. If your system is not empty and you need to replace parts, please be kind to the environment and get it evacuated by a garage or a service station that should do it for a reasonable price. Anyway, before we get started, hit the subscribe button and let's get going. All right, to start, we're going to make sure all these gauges are closed. And then we're going to connect them to the uh, AC system. Okay, that one's closed. This one's closed. All right, so here's the, uh, the two hoses. Um, we've got the high pressure side and the low pressure side. One good thing about this is that you actually can't get them under the wrong place. It's impossible, luckily. The reason for that is that they're different sizes. Um, looking at this, uh, the small one will never be able to go onto the high pressure side. So we're going to put blue hose, low pressure side on. And to do that, pull that back, push it on firmly and that's connected. All right, so we started with everything closed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open these all the way. All right, so the high and low pressure sides are connected. They are open. The next step is to connect to the vacuum pump, which I've got this connected here. Um, then I'm going to turn the vacuum pump on, but before I do that, I wanna show you something. This is at zero going to stay at zero. These are actually closed. Once we turn the vacuum pump on, we're going to open those up. So let me do that. Open both of these. And what we want to see is that needle go down to 30, or negative 30. We'll leave it on and um, come back in a few moments. All right, so we've got negative 30 inches of mercury. That's what we want. I'm going to shut both of these off to seal the system off. Turn the vacuum pump off. And the whole goal here is to see if it stays at negative 30 inches of mercury. And um, we're going to let, let it sit for a half hour. System's completely sealed off. All we're seeing is the gauges. So this is the, this is the important thing. Let's see. Uh, if it stays there. If it stays there, that means the system's not leaking and uh, we can go forward with charging it. All right, so it's been 30 minutes, actually a little bit over that, and this is still at negative 30. So what we're going to do is turn the vacuum pump back on and let it run uh, probably for another 30 to 45 minutes. Uh, make sure there's an absolute vacuum on this before we go ahead and put any refrigerant in it. All right, it's been 45 minutes. Um, we're still at neg 30 uh, um, vacuum. So we're gonna go ahead and start a fill. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close these. Remember the uh, connectors are still open, and that's fine. I'm gonna stop the vacuum pump, and we're gonna disconnect this. Now, this is where we have some fun. I'll tell you what. All right, so we're ready to add some refrigerant. Now, I do want to make a point. Um, some of the older videos that you see um, that show you how to do this are pierce cans. So, in other words, when you put the valve on, it pierces it, and that's it. The newer ones don't have that. They have actually have a little valve in there. So, you have to actually screw these all the way down it'll be sealed. If you screw, if you open it all the way up, it'll still be sealed. Um, the proper way to do these is to get it all the way down where it opens up that little red valve, but it seals it um, at this point. And as you back it out, it'll open it just enough that it'll allow refrigerant to flow. It's kind of a pain, um, but it's one of those uh, EPA things. Uh, thank you, EPA. Anyway, let me go ahead and get this prepped.
All right, so I've got this uh, opened up all the way. We're going to connect it to the can. These cans are 12 ounces. I already checked the label on the hood and the system is designed to hold 18 ounces. So it's going to be this plus one can. Now I'm going to go all the way down and at this point I'm going to back it up a little bit. If I go out too far it's going to seal. This should be where we need it to be. And we're going to purge the system. What I just did is I let all the air out. Um, so that proved the can. The valve is at the right position where it's not locking. Um, if you let it out all the way, it'll lock it and won't let anything out too far in. Can't get anything out. It's right at the midpoint or close to the midpoint. So let's shut the car up and get the refrigerant flowing. All right, engine's running. Uh, I'm going to open up the low pressure side. I can actually see fluid flowing. And what you want to do as it charges is rotate the can. And there's enough fluid in there, the compressor just kicked on. Oh, just take over. You got gloves. You're getting cold. <laughs> I'm going to check to see how much of the food is left in the can. So I'm going to close this. Can you pick it up? Hold it. I'm going to go weigh this. And actually, there's hardly any refrigerant left in here, so let me check it. All right, we're going to another can. Really want to get our full 18 ounces of, uh, of refrigerant. This might be a cold. I'll tell you one. Yeah. All right, so as you notice, we stopped it. And the reason was we were getting the correct temperature versus pressure readings. Um, you can pull these charts down on the internet. They're everywhere. This one's for 134A. Ambient temperature outside is 75 degrees. What we were reading was uh, just, I think, a little bit over 45. Or actually, it was between 35 and 45, but closer to 45 on the low pressure side. And um, 150, um, which is the range that you should expect to get for your high pressure and low pressure side. That means the system's full and ready to go. Do one last thing. Let's measure the temperature and the output. See what that looks like. All right, the best way to see if uh, this worked out and is blowing cold is to actually take a temperature reading of the uh, air that's coming out. What do we got? 45 degrees. Uh, I'm going to call that successful. If that ain't cold enough for you, then you probably need to see a doctor. 
All right, so that's it. We've recharged the system in the process. We've ensured that there are no leaks with the new AC compressor that we put in in this other video. And I think we're done. The temperature's great. So here we are. We'll take it for a few loops around town as a test run. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful to you. If it has, hit share and like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.